Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LGGym007, and today we're looking at the Wild Tools plugin. Now, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to have 15 brand new tools in the game, which you can see here. This is just some of them. If we have a look in the chest, there's going to be a lot more in there, and they all do different things. So, as an example, if we were to look at this sand wand, this will break a pillar of sand, like one that I've got here, completely all in one click. Now, as you can see, each of them have a different amount of uses, and it actually explains what it does in the lore, which is very helpful. And there is a few more compared to these. So the first thing we're going to do is the forward slash tools give command, and then you want to put your username, and then you have a long, long list of all the different tools here that you can use. Um, let's just go with the crafting one, for example, and now we have two of them. So what we're going to do is go through some of these and show you how they work. Now the first one is the sand wand. As you can see, it will break a pillar of sand. So if I were to right click the bottom of this, suddenly all of this sand has disappeared and I now have 26 in my inventory for doing absolutely nothing. Now the next one, I'm going to grab some ice and just pop it over here. And what the second tool is going to do is actually drain it or break the ice. If I right click, it smashes all of it. Might be useful if you're in a tundra biome. And then this one melts the ice. If I were to right click, it turns it all to water, which also could be handy if you wanted to do that. So the next one's pretty handy. You can right click a chest that has TNT ingredients and it's going to craft all of them here, as you can see. And this is the crafting wand. Hit chest to also craft TNT. 3,000 uses. The builder wand is pretty neat. It's where you can right click a block and it's going to start building a pillar. So if I were to right click on top of a tree that I have leaves for, you can see it just builds about four or five blocks up and that makes it super easy to build just a really tall column. So for the tray pickaxe, this is going to break dirt and netherite. So if I were to just click around here, you can see all the dirt is going as long as I am actually clicking some dirt, it gets rid of it. And there's actually a similar one as well. There is the trench pickaxe. This is going to get rid of a three by three block in front of me. So as you can see, it gets rid of three by three. One of the most useful is the harvester hoe. Now this one, you can right click a crop that is ready to be harvested and it's gonna harvest all the ones in the surrounding area. And it's going to give you the seeds and it's going to replant the seeds and give you the wheat. So as you can see, there is an absolute ton of useful stuff that some of these come with. And if we were to right click the chest, these are all of them. So there is actually 14 in total and there's a few other ones that you can do. So you can right click a spawner to break it and then have it in your inventory. You can sort a chest. So that is just a quick look at some of them. So here we are in the s and control panel. And as you can see, there's quite a few YML files. Now there's only two you really want to look at, so we've got the recipes.yml, if you don't want to use the command to get one, what you can do is craft them. So you can see the tool core is redstone, so for a uh, trench pickaxe you need lots of diamonds, sticks, and then the trench core either side of that, and you can see every single one has a unique recipe which you could change if you wanted to. And then if we go into the config.yml, that's where we can kind of edit some of the properties of some of the tools, so you can see the dig speed, whitelisted drops and then the amount of uses and the cooldown for example so you could change that if you really wanted to now once again this plugin is actually not on spigot it's on bgsoftware.com it is free to download and these are the supported minecraft versions now it also has a wiki where you can look at more information about it and look at the specific tools and how to use them so if you want to download it head over there but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.